What's up, everybody? Alex from Twin Gaming TV back with another MLB The Show 17 video. Today, we are trying to get to three wins. Reveal a Mike Trout at six. I'm hoping we can do a man. Last time, we didn't have Mike Trout, but I really feel like we can today. In yesterday's BR video, I used retro camera. I got nine hits. I don't know how much it had to do with the camera, but we're going to keep the camera going today. See how it goes. Hopefully, still pitch well make no mistakes get to three and one just continue to play well because after losing that game we started off one and oh and then we we lost the, we lost the next game and uh it was 100 percent my fault like if, if you guys watched the video you saw uh it, it was definitely my fault and um in, in terms of not hitting well but then especially making bad decisions pitching so i'm really i'm really trying to break my habit hoping today helps let's go three and one and see mike trout at six wins we're playing in the republica dominican platano power i think platano means banana or like it's like a banana i never mind i could be wrong just just forget it george springer 80 overall leading him off 99 teddy following jonathan scope 94 cal 89 Pauly, ender and crt on hammer salarte I thought I said Solarte twice. Never, I'm sorry. Uh, 84 Yasmani, and then uh, Gio Gonzalez on the mound for him. He has an 83 on the mound. What the heck? I don't get it, man. We're the away team, looking to be three and one, and see that Mike Trout playing a minute made. Roof is open. Beautiful night sky. You can see that train. Let's get this dub. Edgar Martinez, foul ball, one and two count. Down to our final strike. A little bit early on the changeup right there. As you can see, we are using retro camera, and it's just, it feels weird looking at it, you know? It it, it just feels like something's off, but I, I did really good in yesterday's BR video where I used it. So, you know, I, I want to use it for the rest of this BR and just see how it goes, because someone in the comments said they went 12-0 using this camera. We just drew a walk, so, you know, starting this game off well, but someone in my comments said that they went 12-0 after switching to this camera, and, uh... We, we do have a loss, but we're, we're still going to try to get to 12-0, and, and uh, I, I think we can. You know, I'm, I'm hoping retro mode is the secret, the, the secret weapon that gets us there, but we're just going to have to wait and see how the next 10 games go. Francisco Lindor, a little bit of a pop out, didn't move the PCI quite enough, not a huge deal, it's the first end of the inning. Now we have, man, I really don't know my lineup for this team. So, Edgar Martinez, Francisco, and then Jose Bautista. I suck with this Jose Bautista. But I do have two homers with him. Trying to make it three. Jose Bautista kind of put a drive into it. Definitely got under it a little bit too much, though. So, following that leadoff walk, two straight outs. Not exactly what I wanted. Ozzy Albies, the switch hitter. He's been hitting well for me in the last few games. Looking to do some damage here. So, Edgar Martinez, 39 speed. We, we probably need to get two hits in a row. I don't think something in the gap is going to score him here. So, uh, let's just take it one batter at a time. But try and get at least two hits in a row. Ozzy Albies kind of put a drive to that one. It's going to be caught. Uh, but, you know, I felt like we made some decent contact there. Going to the first. No runs scored. Hoping to not allow any either. There we go. Out number one. Huge strikeout. Ted Williams up to bat. He has lefty righty righty. I'm going to regret this. I really am. But we're leaving in our lefty starting pitcher to face 99 Teddy. Oh, man. Hopefully, it's not a bad idea. It's not. We're getting the pop out. I was going to mention. So, if you guys saw yesterday's video, there's nine outs in BR. It was a three inning game. And eight of the nine outs, I got strikeouts. And after that first strike out here, I was I was I was gonna mention it, and then I got distracted by the Teddy. Now it's gonna be like, oh, maybe we can do the same today. But you know, first inning three outs, we only have one. So it's a, you know, I I can't beat it. I can't get to nine strikeouts this game. So just forget it, man. Denard Span, come on, 80 speed, you got it, buddy. You can beat it out. Not quite. So, I've been struggling lately in BR. Uh, pitching, obviously, you know, that whenever I lose games, it seems like I give up, like, a mistake pitching, and then I just can't hit. I can't score any runs. Okay. I'm surprised it's a base hit. But what I'm trying to say is I really want to just get a run in either this inning or the next inning, man, uh, because... I've been struggling to get runs, and I've been doing okay pitching. So, it just it seems like we make it to extra innings a lot. And you guys know I hate extra innings. 
but I'm also just really having a tough time scoring early, uh, scoring early on in the games, but just scoring in my BR games in general. I don't know what it is. I'm just, uh, I'm struggling as of late. All right, his starting pitcher still on the mound. Gio Gonzalez is, uh, I guess that might be why, you know, it's a silver starting pitcher. I'm sending the runner home, but I feel bad. I feel, I feel a little bad right now. We're up one to nothing. We scored. We did it. But man, that air cost him a run, bro. I he would have been out of the inning if it weren't for that air. Oh, I definitely feel bad about that. Dang it, man. I'm sorry, Melvin. And pinch hit, foul ball. Okay, one and one count two down i would love to score some more runs i mean inning <laughs> should technically be over but mlb gods gave me another chance we got a pinch hitter he's pretty good against right uh, lefties and he's able to foul off a pitch in the dirt so uh the, the game seems to want me to score another run letting me stay alive here we go another foul ball okay 31 pitches. Melvin, are you sure it's not time to take out Geo? You sure? Okay. Probably going to catch this one. Bottom of the second coming up. We're six outs away. We got our bullpen, guys. He has, it looks like, I don't know, is, is Ender and CRT a righty? He has at least two righties coming up. We have, okay, it's a lefty. Uh, we got Peter Moylan, and then if we need David Price, Drew Pomerantz, Adam Adovino, you know, we, we, we got a solid bullpen for the rest of the game. This probably isn't the best thing. We just struck him out. This probably isn't the best thing to be thinking. Uh, but I just, I kind of have a feeling that I'm going to give up a home run here in this inning. I don't know why, but I just, I have a feeling I'm going to give up a home run and he's going to tie the game. Probably not the best thing to say. Uh, and I should probably have more confidence, but I don't know, man. It just, it seems like I make mistakes and, and do stuff like that quite a bit. But we're trying to break the habit. Like I said at the beginning, we're, we're working on breaking our bad habits and I guess one of those is I don't want to say self-doubt because it's not like I don't believe in myself or whatever but I just I'm never surprised when I give up home runs or base hits you know and that that should probably be one of the habits I'm trying to break uh, but especially you know really mainly focus on the part where I make mistakes pitching that that should be the biggest habit I, I focus on Edgar Martinez crushing that one. Is that gone? No, I was going to say, man, that one just exploded off his bat. I was trying to think of the best word to say. That one just really came off his bat pretty fast. Kind of reminded me of Stanton a little bit. The ball really jumps off Stanton's bat. And uh, that's probably the, I mean, we did have that no doubt homer yesterday with uh, Edgar, but I really like him, man. I, I like this card. I kind of want to try to get him on my normal diamond dynasty team i think i would enjoy having him on the team jose bautista crushes that one power swing gone jose bautista home run three to nothing lead Gio gonzalez still on the mound 38 pitches what are you doing melvin and he hits ozzy alves okay you're gonna take Gio out right you know he, he hit a, he hit a batter it's time to take him out right no Okay, 40th pitch coming up. A little bit surprising. We're going to steal. We're doing a hit and run. Here we go, Denard's man. Oh, we're going home. Wait, no, no, no. Is that dropping? No, it's not. Never mind. Go back, go back, go back. Double play. Okay. Going to the bottom of the third inning, following the double play. Glad we got that home run there. Three to nothing lead. We, have, we haven't allowed a hit yet. So, that makes me the biggest thing, though, about that home run. Now, I don't feel as bad about that run being scored and uh, on the air. However, if my opponent's anything like me, whenever if, if like that air happened to me, it would have made me, like... I don't want to say in a bad mood because I don't think I would have actually been in a bad mood, but like it would have made me play worse. It would have made me not try as hard pitching, probably be more impatient hitting because I'm down. So even though we did score a run and, you know, now we have legit runs, it's still, 
it's still a little bit of a sticky situation. There we go. Out number two, strikeout. Literally the first pitch I've thrown with Peter Moylan today that hasn't been in the bottom part of the zone. So I don't think my opponent was expecting it. And uh, we're winning this game. We're three and one. Let's go ahead and see who our six win reward is. I'm really, really hoping it's Mike Trout. I'm confident that it will be. We're just going to have to wait and see. All right, time to see who our six win reward is. Mike Trout, I know he's coming. I'm going to close my eyes so I don't see it, but I know it's coming. I know it's going to be Mike Trout. Zinzi on the track. I thought it was going to make like a noise or something. It's not Mike Trout. It's Salvador Perez. We're going to go ahead and check how many subs he's worth. I'm just going to go ahead and guess 1,100 for Salvador Perez. 86 overall, so it's not like a high gold and a live series gold. You know, they're typically not worth that much. Okay. If you have a gold and, you know, say you have four Salvador Perez's. Do not click sell now here for 755. Go into your inventory and quick sell because you'll get a thousand stubs. It's not going to be taxed. So like if even if this was a thousand, don't take this one because you would be getting 900 stubs, right? Because it takes 10%. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you would be getting if this said a thousand you sold now, you'd be getting 900 stubs. But if you quick sold it, your Salvador Perez, you would get a thousand. So do, do not sell unless it's like above. 1100 in one stubs you know otherwise just quick sell your gold and uh, i would say he's worth about 1100 subs pretty much just 1000 though if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new comment anything down below maybe uh what the chances you think of me getting mike trout are as a six win reward i'll see you guys next time thank you again so much for watching i felt bad about that air i still feel kind of bad just because you know it, if my opponents like me it would have affected me the rest of the game you know that that air might have had a, been the reason why he left geo in it might have been the reason he didn't pitch that well might have been the reason he was a little bit impatient of the play you know small things like that even if it, if it does sound stupid it can really have a big impact on the game and uh i apologize to my opponent but i'm glad we got the dub we're three and one gonna try to go four and one tomorrow still use that retro camera for hitting because i seem to kind of like it i'll see you guys next time thank you again so much for watching Peace out.